everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to create a card using a die set. This is brand new to Spellbinders. Um, this is by a wonderful designer. Her name's Yana Smakula, and she creates the most elegant cards and dies and I'm super excited I get to share this with you. Now this is very very intricate. This is a two-piece die set. Let me show you. And at first I was very intimidated by it and I thought oh gosh. I mean it's it, this is there's so much detail. I'm actually going to die cut this out and show you. The detail in this is just crazy. Let me run this through my die cutting machine. Okay, this is what it looks like. And I there's an outline that um, is slightly larger than your die cut. And this is so pretty. Now this would be great for inlaying because there's etched detail on all these little inlaid pieces. But um, I wanted to share with you a quick way to make a card that looks like you spent hours and hours on um, after I get these all punched out it doesn't take too much time but I wanted to show you how beautiful this is a very intricate and detailed die but it die cuts out beautifully I'm sure if I ran this through a, a twice I wouldn't have to punch these out like I'm doing but isn't that stunning? Oh, that's so pretty. How pretty is that? That's a beautiful, beautiful. And, and again, all the inside pieces, this would be beautiful for inlaying. So, um, but I, I wanted to create a card. This is so pretty. And this would be, I wanted to create like a note card set with this. And so I found an easy, easy way to do that. I'm going to die cut out one more, and then I'm going to take the background die here, and I'm going to die cut that out with white cardstock. Okay, so we have two of these beautiful, intricate magnolias. I don't even think I told you the name. The name of the set is Magnolia Blooms. And Yana has a whole collection out. Um, I encourage you guys to check it out. It's super duper pretty. You can see all the detail in there. So these are my outline pieces. And you know what I love? Is that the leaves are separate. So you know what the flower is. And you know exactly what the leaves are. So here's the background. And I die cut out some foam too. With the Spellbinders foam. Now I'm going to take the background pieces. Kind of line up where my flowers are. And I'm going to just use my finger daubers. And I'm going to add color to the background piece. This is, is super duper easy to do, guys. I'm going to use my Distress Oxide inks. I have a couple colors. This is Kitsch Flamingo. And I want my biggest flower to be that pink. And I'm not going to go all the way to the edge. I'm just going to go in the middle where the flower is. And you can go where the leaves are. You know why? Because you're going to cover them up with this. And I'm going to do that to this one too. Let's add some pink. Now I want to do a little bit of blending. So I'm going to switch out the color with Seedless Preserves. And I'm just going to do a little ink blending with the purple in the middle. Oops, it looks like I got a little ink over there. That's okay. Do a little shading there. So we have a little two-tone. My next flower, I'm going to use Spiced Marmalade. It's a real pretty orange. And I'm going to go basically where this flower is on this portion. Candy apple. Add a little shading in here. 
And then for my last flower, I want blue. So I'm going to use Broken China. I'm going to add a little blue shading here. I don't want to go all the way to the edge because I know that's going to show. And then I'm going to add a slightly darker blue. This is Chipped Sapphire. And I'm going to add a little shading with that. And that's it. That looks pretty there it is. Um, like it is. Um, we'll set these aside and then on our outline I'm going to go ahead and use my greens. We have peel paint. And I'm just going to do a little bit of shading here. Carefully, I, I don't want to get on my flower outline. So I'm just doing a light shading with my finger dauber. Okay. And then I do want to add one more shading with another green. And I think I'm going to use mowed lawn. So we have just a different color variant on our leaves, like we have on the flowers. And that's good to go. So those are all the shadings that we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take a towel and clean off my surface. Now what we do is take our outline, flip it around, and I'm just going to use my tape runner. If you wanted to use your glue, you could. But there's leaves are big enough to where I can use my tape runner. I think it all depends on the tape runner that you have. And then what we do is flip this around and place it over our outline piece. And isn't that so pretty? I just love that. We're going to do the same thing to our next one. A little bit of adhesive, and again, if you want to use your glue, you could. You could use your um, double-sided adhesive or tape. And then there is this one. This alone, let me show you on a card base, is super pretty. And this would make a great note card set, and you did it in no time. I did die cut out the background with the foam. I'm going to go ahead and add some glue. Okay, while that's drying, I'm going to take, oops, that lifted up a bit. Next, I have a piece of cardstock here. This is slightly smaller than my card base. It measures four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to do a little bit more shading. And this time we're going to use these two inks, Hickory Smoke and Pumice Stone. Pumice Stone is um, going to give me that warm feel and then hickory smoke is just going to intensify the color and I'm going to go around the edge of my panel here and it just adds a little bit of softness I think maybe a little vintage maybe not not with those bright colors <laughs> now our panel is good I'm going to go ahead and flip over our florals add some glue And I'm adding it everywhere, and I know some's going to overhang, so that's okay. And then we're going to add our florals to our panel. We'll do this one too. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my goodness. And it took no time at all. This is why, with cards like this, just make it look like you spend so much time, and then it, um, Makes a great gift set too. And I think that's gonna go really pretty right there. And then I'm gonna use my scissors and we're gonna trim this off. And we'll do the bottom. Gosh, that is so pretty. Isn't that stunning? Now I'm going to take the leftover piece here, trim off that 
thin sliver. Then we'll add some more glue behind it. And then this can fill in over here. I'm going to flip this around and just trim off this area. And our background panel is done. Isn't that so pretty? And that gray behind it just makes it pop, I think, a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around and add some adhesive behind here. And then this is going to go on my card base, which is a standard A2 size card. And we'll make sure it's centered, leaving a little bit of a white border. And then for my sentiment, I'm going to use one of the sentiments and the Spellbinders Essential Sentiments. Um, I think we're going to make a Get Well card. I don't, I'm trying to build up my stash. I have birthday and, this, or this, this says feel better soon. Um, but I've been, if you haven't been able to tell, I've been doing birthdays and I do need some Get Well cards. So we'll make a Get Well Soon card here. I'm going to stamp Get Well Soon. On some black cardstock. I'm just going to treat it with my anti static powder. Ink that up with first mark. I'll go over with my white embossing powder. And then I'm going to melt it and then I'll block it off. And then all we have to do is add our sentiment. I think that looks pretty. I'm going to add a few gems using the Spellbinders Color Essential Crystal Mix. And I'm using the more white ones just to add a little bit of Um, specialness to the card. Lovely. And then that is my card for today, guys. Pretty simple, but it looks like you spent a lot of time on it. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you so much for joining me. Um, have a great rest of your Tuesday. Um, I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.